guys, welcome to the vlog. This is a Sunday in the life serving in my church and I also included some of the sermon on here. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into it. So I'm gonna go to Enduring Word and I have the app on my iPad. And I am going to actually search up the meaning and the commentary of one of the scriptures that I was reading. So it is Romans 13, 11. So I'm going to read this and then um, apply it to this and then write notes. Okay, so I just finished doing my makeup. This is how it looks. And this is what I'm wearing at church. So I'm wearing this really pretty dress. I don't know if I'm gonna wear these shoes or if I'm gonna wear tennis shoes. And I just put on a necklace and this is actually my natural hair. I didn't do anything with it. I just got out of the shower. Put it up in a claw clip. And this is the look. I love it. It's so pretty. So I just got in the car. I'm about to head to church. I am extremely early today because I wanted to, so it's currently 8.47. So I don't start serving until 9.30. So I'm actually going to head over to church now um, because that way I get there early and I can sit in the parking lot and have some time to pray to myself just some time with the Lord and then I'll go in and serve and then um, I'll sit in service afterwards. Um, so today I'm serving with kids. Um, today I'm serving with, I feel like I have a hair in my mouth. Okay, sorry. Today I'm serving with kids. I am wearing a dress. Um, hopefully they'll let me use a t-shirt or I pray that they just let me put a name tag on it because I don't want to put something over my head right now because I did my hair. Um, and then yeah, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be sitting into the service, so hopefully everything goes good. Um, I'm excited. I think it's going to be a great day. And yeah, it is very gloomy, but you do what you do. Hopefully the sun comes out and, you know, people show up to church. <laughs> Your penalty, nobody but Jesus. Come on. Healing is not God's top priority, believe it or not. Do you realize that in the Gospels, Jesus walked past sick people? On the road to Jericho, he walked past blind Bartimaeus. Bartimaeus cried out, Son of David, Son of David, have mercy on me. Scripture implies Jesus turned around. You remember the woman with the issue of blood? She'd been hemorrhaging for 12 years. She pressed through the crowd that day just to touch the hem of his garment and Jesus felt power leave from him and Jesus turned around. In other words, Jesus walked past him. You say, well, that's not my theology. Well, it is your Bible. Oh, I got one more for you. You remember Lazarus? Jesus let him die. Y'all know who Lazarus is, right? He died. <laughs> and his sisters came to Jesus. They said, if you had been here when we asked you, he would have lived. Let me, let me say this to you. If Jesus had answered their prayer, when they prayed it, the way they prayed it for Jesus to heal their brother Lazarus, it would have just been another healing. But when it happened God's way, it was not a healing. It was a resurrection, raised from dead to life. And what gives God greater glory? A healing? For someone raised from death to life. Come on. See, his way is better. Amen. His plan is greater. Yes. He's a good God. Yes. You may not understand it all now, neither do I. But we trust in the goodness and the faithfulness of God. Yes. God is a healer. He is a miracle working God. And he is able. I pray for sick people and they've recovered. I pray for a person in a wheelchair and they got up and walked out of the building. But I've also prayed for people in a hospital room and watched them die. I'm not God. I don't know why he heals some 
and doesn't heal others. But what I can tell you is he's good and he's faithful and he's able. And whether he does what I want him to, when I need him to, he's still good and he's Come gonna on. bring glory from it still. I want to teach you how to pray like a person of great faith. You ready? We're going all the way back to Daniel 3. How do I pray for the sick? How do I pray for people with an illness? I'm glad that you asked. Daniel chapter 3, verse 16. Though this does not apply to healing, the principle certainly applies. Listen to this. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied, O Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you. If we're thrown into the blazing furnace, the God who we serve is able to save us, and he will rescue us from your power, your majesty. Watch verse 18. But even if he doesn't, Come on. Even if he doesn't, I Come want to make it clear to you that we will never serve your God or worship the golden statue that you have erected. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. We pray the prayer of Shadrach, Meshach, yes, and even over the sick. Lord, you are able. Lord, you are willing. Yes, Lord. But even if you don't, you're still worthy of my praise. If you, if you never answer another prayer I pray, you are worthy of all my praise for the rest of my life. You are great and greatly to be praised. I refuse to be a circumstantial Christian. Come on. I only praise Him when I understand. Come on. I only praise Him when things are going my way. No, anybody can do that. It takes a mature disciple to say in the face of disappointment, you're so good and you're still worthy. And I trust Jesus. You. Yes, Lord. I love you, Come on. He's Thank you, Jesus. But even if he does, mm. right now all of this place is to pray with me. Because you need to be cleansed spiritually. You need to be healed spiritually. The healing of your body is not his top priority. Because if he heals your body, it's going back to the grave. Oh, but if he heals your soul, that is eternal. Yes, Lord. Marked by the blood of the Lamb. Thank you, Jesus. Every one of you must be covered in the blood of Jesus or on the day of judgment. You'll stand condemned, guilty of your sin. There's one way to forgiveness. One way to the Father. It's through Christ. Pray with me now. You can leave this place knowing that you're forgiven. Pray with me now. Father, we come to you in the mighty name of Jesus. And we repent of our sin. We confess and acknowledge that our life has been marked by lust, pride, greed, selfish ambition, the love of money. Lord, forgive us and have mercy. Today we repent of our sin. We turn from it and we turn to you. The world is empty. But you are our healer and our savior. And today we believe that Father, you sent your son, Jesus Christ, to die for us on the cross. His blood was spilled so that our sins could be forgiven. He died and was buried. And on the third day, he triumphed over the grave. He's the resurrection and the life. And I place my faith in you, Jesus. I ask you to change my heart, create me a new heart and a right spirit. Help me to love what you love and despise what you despise. Make me born again. In Jesus' name we pray. And all God's people said, Amen. 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 If you pray that prayer with me today for the first time, or you prayed it as a recommitment of your faith in Christ. In just a moment, I'm going to stop to three. I'm going to invite you to stand publicly and boldly as a confession of yes. faith that you are surrendering thank you, your Jesus. life to Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Every Jesus. Every person Jesus called to follow him, he called them to do so publicly. This is not a secret faith. You cannot be ashamed of the gospel or he will be ashamed of you on the day of judgment. But Come on. says, anyone that would acknowledge me on earth, I will acknowledge in heaven. And if you confess Jesus is the Lord of your life and believe in your heart, God raised him from the dead, you will be saved, your sins forgiven. Amen. If that's you today and you need to stand publicly, I want to encourage you to do so now. One, two, three. Sorry, thank you, Jesus.
high five. What's the word that you want to leave people with today? Uh, have faith and Amen. trust God through everything. Amen. And don't fear. Just know that He's going to make a way. He's going to provide for you and your family. And He loves you. He has a plan for your life. And don't let the devil tempt you to anything that's not of God. Because God has a bigger plan for you. And you are worth it. And you matter. And He loves you. And He died for you. Amen. Okay, look at his hoodie, guys. Period. Represent. <laughs> yeah. He looks so pretty out today. Okay, guys, so I just finished serving at church. I served at the 9.30, and then I sat in for the 11, and then I served at the 12.30 because I needed some extra hands. I ended up serving today with the toddlers and then also serving in, like, the older kind of mixture group. It was so much fun, you guys. I love the kids. I'm so excited to start serving consistently. Like, I've been asking the Lord for, like, confirmation on whether or not I should start serving, and I really feel like I should. I really feel like it's going to be a blessing in my life um, in the sense of, like, I get to just pour so much love into these kids, and I'm so excited. Like, I never went to church when I was little, and it just it blesses my heart to see little prayer warriors and see them just, like, love Jesus. So one of the little girls today, she, like, fell in love with my necklace. She would not stop playing with it. Um, but yeah, it was a blessing. I'm so excited. And yeah, so now I probably am going to grab a coffee. We have a, a Spanish service. I don't know if I'm going to go to that. I want to go clean my car. Um, so I did bring some extra shoes. I want to go clean my car, um, get coffee or something, and then potentially go to our Spanish service. If not, I may come back for the evening service. Um, but I do want to do groceries and cook and prepare for the week. So I miss so much. Normally we would spend every Sunday night with like a group of us at church and I miss them so much. It feels so weird not having something to do on Sunday nights. But yeah. So let's pray, I'll show you the way. Jesus Christ, my God good, he gave me life. Okay. okay so I got home from church and your girl took a nap. I woke up this morning at 6 a.m. as you guys have been with me and put on my little t-shirt that I was wearing this morning and I took a nap. So happy, um, but now I'm starving and I don't think we have any food. Um, I have to go do groceries. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make myself a quick snack and make a list and head to the grocery store. Have I shown you guys the apartment yet? Oh, this is gonna be in this video, but ooh, she cute, she cute, she cute. They do what we had and this is what we got. Some scrambled eggs with some cheese, spinach, chips, and a cup of milk. If this is not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen, I don't know what is. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Look at the sunset. Can you tell I was taking care of toddlers today? Because I am so sleepy. Oh, look at this. You guys, so I just got ready for the gym. I don't know why this camera makes me look hit. I don't look like that in the real life, but it is what it is, you know? Um, I'm about to make some pre-workout. I'm gonna let you guys know though, I would love to do, excuse <coughs> me. I would love to do nothing more than not go to the gym right now. Like I genuinely do not want to go to the gym right now. At all. At all. When I say at all, I mean settle. Settle. But I've been working on being more disciplined. And discipline means do the thing you need to do regardless of how you feel. And I feel like, you know, think about it this way. Think about it this way, okay? Let's say we have two people. We have one person that every single day they wake up they're so motivated they're so excited you know they have every desire to do everything that they need to do like they literally wake up they're like i'm so excited for church i'm so excited for work i'm so excited for the gym i'm so excited to cook and clean and wash dishes and take care of kids and then you have the second person and that person wakes up every day and has to build the momentum because they don't wake up with that energy they don't wake up with that desire that person may be battling 
with their own things inside. What is more inspiring to you? The person that gets up and just everything is going their way, they feel incredible, they get the stuff done that they need to get done, or the person that wakes up every day and is struggling to get that momentum and is putting in the work to be consistent and to be diligent regardless of how they feel. I would say it's the latter. I would say it's the person that doesn't feel like doing what they need to do, but does it anyways, right? Let's be that person. Let's be that person like, do I want to do dishes? No. Do I want to do laundry? No. Do I want to do anything that I need to do? Absolutely not. I just rather chill, scroll on social media, eat the cake. I mean, I did eat the cake, so I ain't even gonna say nothing about that, but like, we don't wanna do what we need to do and that's okay that you don't wanna do it. You don't have to be motivated to do it. And I think waiting for motivation is honestly just a scam. It's a scam. It's a scam. My pastor was talking about this today. Like, what takes more faith? The person that is going from emotional high to emotional high, like feeling the presence of God, feeling like they're encountering the Lord, or the person that just honestly doesn't feel anything, doesn't feel goosebumps, doesn't feel tear, doesn't feel anything, but it's just believing and so trusting and pressing in regardless of whether or not their emotions. The Lord reminded me of this today when I was in worship that serving Him is not about a feeling. Serving God is not about a feeling, so. That is free. I need to embrace and just enjoy and abide in what he's doing now. Because God is doing it. Yeah. God doesn't put you through things just to put you through things. He doesn't put you through Yes, girl. And the joy, the joy. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Oh, he is my hope. I will keep hit that note. I just went on a mega rant on my Instagram because Loki, Loki, I was speaking fast. I was speaking fast. I feel like in this season of my life, God is doing so much and I honestly just thinking about what God is doing makes me literally want to cry because I don't deserve anything that I have in my life. I don't care what anybody says. If I got what I deserved, life would suck. Life would suck if I got what I deserved because I deserved hell. I deserved the grave. I deserved to the cross. But Jesus Christ died for my sins and for your sins, not only died for your sins, but has given you the same spirit that raised him from the dead is alive and working in you. Like, are you for reals? Are you for reals? And like, we have the audacity to be depressed and sad and like, not grateful. Listen, shot it, shot it. Where my water bottle at? I could have sworn. <sighs> Praise the Lamb, He provides, because I literally thought I was out of water. Um, hold on, I need to go. I need to come back to the living room. As I, you guys, as I think about, let's let's have a conversation. As I think about everything that God is doing in my life in this current moment, I cannot help but be grateful and be joyful and be glad and be overwhelmed. Listen. Nothing has changed. I haven't, you know, miraculously, you know, gone debt free or met my husband or whatever other thing that I want in my life. Like nothing has actually changed in my circumstances. The thing that has changed is my perspective. And my perspective has changed because I have come to the, the knowledge and the realization that I'm so blessed. And it's like, it's honestly sad that it took me so long to realize how blessed I am, you guys. Like we, we constantly complain, we constantly look around and we, we just like, we just forget. God, like we're living in answered prayers. 
He is so good. And even the things that he hasn't answered yet, he still deserves the praise and the glory. Like, I am so blessed. I'm so grateful. I'm so humbled. I'm so honored. I am so in love. I'm so in love with Jesus. He is my best friend. I'm gonna pursue him for the rest of my life. And even if he doesn't, and even if he doesn't, he deserves the praise and glory all the days of my life. Almost choked on air. God is good. All the time, all the time, God is good. You guys, it's midnight and I'm literally making pasta and just vibing. This is really my life. This is really my life. This is the gospel. I'm gonna, I'm gonna edit my video now and end this vlog with a prayer. So let's pray. God, I just thank you so much for every single person under the sound of my voice. I thank you for your goodness and for your mercy. I thank you for this vlog. I pray that it encourage people today to know that they are loved, to know that they are called, to know that they are chosen. I pray, Father God, that you put your spirit, you breathe your spirit upon this because, Lord, it is not me, it is you, Father. I pray that you bring people to this vlog and to this YouTube channel that need to be encouraged, that need to be reminded that you love them, Jesus. I pray, Father God, that you give me ideas, that you give us wisdom and knowledge to continue to do this and encourage people to show them real life real people and just your glory in Jesus model name. Amen. I love y'all so much. I have so much to say, but I'm not going to do it today because I really need to finish. I need a shower. I need to go to bed. I need to just, just calm down. I just need to calm down. <laughs> I'm still on a little bit of a high from that protein, not protein. What is that called? Pre-workout. But yeah, I love you so much. Have a good night. Guys, so I am currently editing the vlog and I went ahead and just added on this vlog my 26th birthday party so you guys can watch. My friend Carla and Sarai actually were the ones that filmed and recorded almost the entire thing. Um, it is a little bit loud and it's a little bit noisy, but it's so cute. We still have the balloons. It's already June, guys. So I know our living room is a vibe. I'm so excited. Hi, my name's Sarah. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm Carla, Yami's friend. She's also Yami's friend. But Yami's over there. We have, we have Carla vlogging. Yes, yes. This is the, wait, this is the decor. It looks so beautiful, guys. Look at this. Look at the cake. It is beautiful. It says happy birthday. The candle. The sunset is gorgeous. Okay. Wanna introduce you? Hello. <laughs> Yo soy Adina. <laughs> yeah, hi, I'm Adina. <laughs> so awkward. Look at the sunset. Look at God's creation. Hey, man. We know the man who made that. Come on. That is so beautiful. That is. Wow. It's really giving, <laughs> it's really giving the Lord was like, um, let me do it for her. Right? I don't know. I think I zoomed it in and I don't know how to zoom it out. <laughs> Have I been recording this whole time? Yeah, I mean, don't put this in here. I think I zoomed it in. Yeah, you did zoom it in. <laughs> okay, this is going to be your montage month. Month. Yeah, me. If you can edit as a montage. Yes. Okay, let's see. I'm sneaking on in this moment to say they are so freaking cute. I love my friends. I can't. I love this. <laughs> Welcome to the quinceanera. Thank you for your presence. We can feel your presence even now. Lord. Yes, Lord. We just thank you for Yami. We thank you for the blessing that she has been for each and one of us, Lord. I just ask you that you bless her even more. Father, we just thank you for all that you're doing in each and one of these girls' lives. I just exalt you in this moment. Let your presence be felt in, in a way that we've never felt you before. We just thank you, Lord, and I just ask you that you bless the food. Let it be a nourishment to our bodies. And let us just uh, fellowship with each other in your presence, Lord. We thank you. We love you, Jesus. Amen. 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 
dress okay. is so good. Alright, so we got a full, we got a full spread. We got Italian. Italian. Period. Yeah. I don't know what any of this is, but it looks. <laughs> it looks delicious. Hello, chef's kids. Yes. We got even a pot, you guys. Like a whole pot. It's not plain. Wow. It's not plain. Come on now. Wow. <laughs> she probably wore glasses. Like, can't fancy. Fancy. So <laughs> okay, go. This room was upside down. So like where's that fancy <laughs> thing that you said that you got? I can't. Yeah, mama's. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this is a vibe. Any special words for Yami? You're more special than you think. Oh. oh. doing everything that you're doing for the kingdom. Don't lose focus and just put your eyes on Jesus as you're doing now and everything's gonna fall into place. No, I like that, it. it's amazing. Adina. Hello, Carla. <laughs> hey, Yami. Continue to fall in love with Jesus and who he is more than anything, greater than everything. Let his love saturate every part of your life, every part of your personality, every part of your experiences in life. May he reign, may his peace reign over you and may you be consumed with his love all around you. That you don't lose sight, you don't lose sight of that and feel like ever you're lacking because I feel like that's where we feel like we lack is when we mm. miss sight of where our love is. Um, and that you are totally, fully loved and deeply known. Amen. And that you don't have to worry about if he does really know you and if he does really love you because you are fully known and so deeply loved. And so, yeah, I love Amen. you, sis. Um, such a blessing. So, yeah. uh, I love that. I love that. Okay. No. Oh, you have to turn it on. Yes, Carla. So I go back out and I'm like, yes, we're no, I start. We go away. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to say, and I've told you this before, you just like faith so much. If faith was a person, it is you. So, happy birthday. May the Lord bless you even more than he already has. Maybe, may this year be a year of abundance, peace, hope, and keep seeking God, keep being a woman of God. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I don't want to stop recording. Aki. Oh, yeah. uh, salt me. Do you want more? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oops, sorry. Oh, I love it. Mm -hmm. No, you're good. I just don't want it to fall again, and then we like end up with burnt hair or something. Mm -hmm. oh, Y'all look adorable. You guys, this is such a vibe. I love it. She just walks in, in sincere love and and grace God as she just like the whole thing of like operating as like being undercover Lord may she truly like live Okay, you guys, so this is the end of the vlog. Here are some pictures of my birthday. This made a slideshow. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you guys have a great evening and come back for another vlog Which we will be doing a Q&A soon. Love y'all. Bye